Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So this year you've decided that you want to start recording videos and sharing them on social media channels such as YouTube. Or you've already made a start and you want to start learning how to add some really professional touches such as adding a video overlay over a video. So in this video I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step by step using iMovie which was the first video editing software I used when I made a start on YouTube. If we've not met before my name is Nikki Pasquier and I teach small businesses how to use creative marketing strategies to successfully grow their businesses online without the ads. So if this sounds good to you, you might consider subscribing to my channel so that you get all my regular updates and then hit that bell notification so that you know when I publish a new video. Right, so if you're ready to learn, let's go over to iMovie. Make sure you have iMovie opened up and that you have two videos uploaded to work with. The first video I've already added to my timeline and the second video is the one that I'm going to create the video overlay with. This might be some B-roll to add more interest and movement to your video or you might want to reference a previous video that you created that your audience might want to check out. First of all you're going to place the playhead which is this line here where you want to insert your video overlay. Now drag and drop the second video onto the timeline and it will drag and drop where you've added your playhead. So now you have two videos on your video timeline. I can see that the video overlay has a lot of sound in it, which I don't want. So the first thing I'm going to do is select the video overlay and it should be surrounded by a yellow line. Go up to the iMovie toolbar, which is right here. To remove the audio, click on the volume button and click on the speaker icon to mute it. You don't have to mute it. You can also reduce the volume of that video overlay audio. But for now, I'm going to completely mute it. Still with the video overlay selected, I'm going to edit it so that it appears in the top right hand corner of my screen. Currently, it's overlapping the entire video and I want to see the video underneath. So still with the video overlay selected, I'm gonna go back up to the toolbar and select this little icon here, which is the video overlay settings. On the left-hand side, you'll find a little downward arrow, which I want you to click on. And from the drop-down menu, go to the bottom and select picture in picture. The video overlay now becomes like a smaller thumbnail image over the top of my original video. You can edit this thumbnail in various ways. You can resize it by selecting the thumbnail until you see these little corner dots. Grab a hold of one of the corners with your cursor and pull it out to resize the thumbnail. Hover your mouse over the top of the thumbnail until you see a four arrowed cursor. Hold the cursor down over the thumbnail and drag it into your chosen position. So I'm just gonna increase the size of this a little bit. You can also edit the thumbnail by selecting how you want it to appear over the top of your video. So with it still selected, go to the left hand side and find the transition menu, which is just here. Click on the downward arrow and from here, select whether you want the video overlay to appear gradually or dissolve, to zoom in, or to swap entirely with your current video. I'm going to select Zoom. And I'm now going to edit the transition duration to one second by placing my cursor in this little box here and just typing one in the box and then return. Looking across to the right hand side, you can add a border to your video overlay. Select whether you want a thin border or a thick border. Select the colour of your border by clicking on this box here. And that will bring up this colour menu. So select whichever colour you'd like. You can also select to add a shadow. And if you want to add some really special effects, go to the toolbar again. Click on this button here, which is clip filter and audio effects. 
Place your cursor in this box here to select a filter from the menu on the left hand side and if you hover your mouse over each filter you can see the kind of effect that it has. I think I'm going to find a black and white filter. Click on the filter thumbnail to select it and to add an audio effect I'm going to place my cursor in this box here and then choose one of the audio effects from the left hand side. I'm going to cancel that because I don't want to add any audio effects at all. Once you're done editing, place your video playhead to just before where the video overlay appears and play through your video to see how it looks. It's the environment and you can go ahead and you can change it as many times as you want. Fabulous! So that is it and it couldn't be more straightforward. The next thing you might want to consider if you are growing your YouTube channel is to create an animated subscribe button. You really don't have to pay someone to do that unless you can afford to do so. So have a look at the video that I created a little while ago. You'll find the link right here. And then maybe after that, perhaps check out how to create automatic YouTube captions for your videos so that people can still enjoy your videos while having the sound off. And you'll find the link to that tutorial just there. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time.